take two of, because I sent the last one back, trying the eight terabyte in this dock before putting it in my NAS. Unboxing. It's in a sealed container. Uh, eight terabyte WD80 EFAX. Made in Thailand in December. Okay, let's pop it out. Uh, A or B? Let's try A. And let me turn on the power here, the dock. Bit of noise, little whirring sounds. It looks like it's here. Can you see that? Effects. Actually, that's a different code. It says it's a Efax 68KNB N0 here, which is not the same as it's got written over there. Mysteries, mysteries of the universe. But it does look like eight terabytes. Okay, let's put it in my, my, my free NAS. Got some screws I had to order. That took a week to like arrive from China. I don't actually know how to set up these two drives. Hopefully I won't nuke my pool or something crazy. Hopefully it's all possible through the GUI. Because I'm not familiar with the ZFS CLI. That's the trouble with this stuff. It's like I'm thinking of going Synology just so I don't have to worry about this because I know Synology will be more consumer focused, won't it? Won't mess me around. But then there's some other kettle of fish type problems, I'm sure. I guess I'm a power user. Power users just need to figure out things themselves, right? I think the minute I go the consumer stuff, I'm just going to be annoyed. Okay, slot it in. I'm not quite going as well as I wanted it. Okay, that's in. Okay, so there's two four terabytes and two eight terabytes in there now. I can expand the two four terabyte ones with the eight terabyte one. Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. Okay, free NAS is back up. So I go to storage and then I go disks and there should be four disks in there. And the two eight terabyte ones, yep, yep, yep. And I want to put them into, uh, into the same pool as this one, the red Samba. Okay, so. Here is the pool. Add data set, add volume. Delete data set, delete volume. How do I add a disk to this pool? Is my mind, is what my mind is thinking? Import disk, aha, aha. Can't really see this menu. Hmm. Hmm, maybe, maybe that's not this one. <laughs> Edit disks. Edit disks. I don't know what the, all this stuff means. Okay, add. Ha. Add, import pool, decrypt pool. Create new pool, import, import an existing pool. No, that doesn't sound right either. Okay, after Googling and <laughs> finding my old post to the to the list, um, I'm here, but watch this, and then I need to extend a pool. So I need to go click an existing pool and click extend. So I'm here. Um, I'm actually not sure. Is this the pool or is this the pool? Anyway, Red Samba is the one I want to extend, that's for sure. 
There's no extend option here. Am I blind? Ex Need it? Ah. Expand. Oh my god, this UI is pretty awful. Is it the same? Oh my gosh. 11.3 is stable. I'm on 12. Okay, I'm probably on the wrong. Okay, I'm probably, I need to go on to TrueNAS. TrueNAS. Extend. Extending a pool. 11.3. I'm on 12. How do you get on 12? <sighs> Still damn confusing. Extend, 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 extend. Extend, 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 extend. Replacing. Status. Add VDEVs. I think that's what I need to do. These look right. And then the VDEV becomes. Yes. This looks right. So this is hard to follow because this documentation is hard to follow. But I think what I need to do is, is do this video thing first. And ATA1, ATA, ADA, ADA1, is that right? Yeah, dude, why can't you remember my password? Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's add VDEVs. Okay. Disk will be erased and the pool is extended with the new disks. Yep. Aha. I mean, why, why can't I just give you like a link like this and nice. Okay. Wow, that was easy. I think I'm done. So was it that easy? I just not, all, all I wish now is the documentation to be a lot easier than it was. Let me have a look. Yes. Ha ha. Okay. It worked. It wasn't so difficult after all. So to summarize my video there about adding those disks, uh, yeah, I had problems with Amazon and one faulty disk and then also the CMR business. Uh, anyway, <laughs> and the UI, the little cog was, could have just been a bit more prevalent and, and navigating the documentation. If this video helped you extend your ZFS pool with a couple of new disks, please let me know. And thank you for watching, like the video, all that jazz. Bye.